Okay, 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 okay. okay I, I just gotta make them fast video. Well, not gonna be fast, cause you know me. I just going on and blah 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 blah. blah. But like I'm Miss America. What is that? <laughs> Stupid fuckers out there. It's great though. Is that you got? You see, you gotta let them talk. That's why I get first amendment. Speak, speak, fuckers, speak. Right? <laughs> you guys like show how ignorant you are. Fucking type them even more better than that. Fucking write it down and keep them folks. Screenshot that shit for posterity. This is how stupid some fuckers are. But see, they like try to make like get ukubian guys that's that stupid in the United States. No more ukubian guys like that. Let's do some math, bro. Get three hundred million, maybe three twenty five, maybe three twenty five million Americans. Okay, what if it was ten thousand? What if what if it was ten thousand guys and write stuff like that? Ten thousand compared to what three hundred twenty five million? You fucking gotta move the decimal pretty far, bro. <laughs> get one percentage out of that. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny percentage of us. Not everybody feeling like that. And, and what? And what? Why? What you thinking? You thinking? Uh, Cause me, I still thinking that the kind. I'm not always that. Uh, she on birth certificate. <laughs> okay. I think it is other guy. I think so. He no moments. Anyway, and then and yeah, you seen that fucking pocket chick from San Francisco or the the, the Miss California? Oh, fucking legs on that chick. You and you see that stereotype. See that's the prejudice right there. That's the kind of prejudice I like. The kind of prejudice is oh she get uh she she the pocket is they all shot. <laughs> <laughs> that chick wasn't short and she had some legs, I tell you, and that's my, that's my favorite part, I tell you what, she had, oh, I tell you. Anyway, I wasn't watching, but then after all this fucking noise, people was making, oh, people so ignorant, fuck yeah, people so ignorant, what, that's news, <laughs> that, what? that's this fucking news to the United States, that we get some serious ignorant fucks in this country, what? <laughs> Oh, uh, but apparently it is. And see, that's all they're trying to do. They're just trying to fucking flam the, flam the flames. What do I mean to say? It's just <laughs> trying to fan, fan the flames of the kind uh, uh, racism. They like you guys be there, right? Upset with each other all the time. Right? They like the world thinking that, you know, this is, well, anyway. But no, I'm telling you that, that most people, especially in Hawaii, like everybody should come to Hawaii at least one, one week, one month. Look how, how look us, Right? The howlies come here and they just fucking they amazed. Because you go in nightclub over here, everybody, everybody. We all party together. Right? You you go to kind of mainland, what you get? Tell you what you get. You get you go to this club, everybody Mexican. You go to this club, everybody black. You go to this club, everybody pocket. You go to this club, everybody, right? Fucking even Thai people over there, they get <laughs> they get their own clubs, right? And then they're trying to say, oh, we gotta bust up this all white sorority. So what you gonna bust up the Chinese club too? <laughs> Down south, no, make no mistake, this fuckers is, is, they racist. You get plenty of racist people in the United States. You get plenty of white guys being all PC in fucking Capitol Hill making laws that they telling you that, oh, I'm PC, but I'm gonna need, but as soon as I leave the room, I guarantee you, I can hear the word nigga in the, in the background. But e pluribus unum, motherfuckers, e pluribus unum. I told you, everybody come here, everybody, everybody, the Pakis, the Indians, everybody, right? The coolies, all them guys. <clears throat> they all come to the United States. Why? Because education. See, and that's the problem right there. What? That Miss America right there. Fucking beautiful, sexy, all that. Right? Doctor. Right? Get brains too. On top of everything else. Right? Well, maybe that's a stereotype, right? They're fucking Indians. <laughs> they're all smart. They're, they're, the, 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 the Chinese girl, the, the pocket girl that came, she was the kind of... Uh, Good looking and smart. The Indian, the Indian lady, she like be on doctor. Like fifty thousand dollars will pay off her education, so they not can fucking enslave her with debt. Probably that this is only gonna make on dent inside her the kind inside her college funds. Uh, how much it costs for go college nowadays? Anyway, I tell you this, this, this. Uh, that's why you like people speak. That's why First Amendment. That's why. But see, it's not a big deal. I tell you, that's not news. Not, that's not news. Is that news to you? That's not news to me. All them fuckers over there, they, 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 like I said, even if it was 10,000 of them, fucking 300 million of us, nobody gives a fuck if Miss America is Indian or what. In fact, nobody gives a fuck about Miss America too much in the first place, but they like make a big deal, huh? You know, like Obama was trying to make a big deal out of one guy getting shot down there in uh, Florida. And, and, and what? They just had it in North Carolina. This black guy is a football player. They shoot him 10 fucking times. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. <laughs> Stay dead, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fucking, uh... What, do you think he might hit? I don't know if he might hit. He look, uh, I think he looked dead. They had 10 shots. I think we got him. Oh, turns out that's was one football player. 
So that makes the news. Other than that, fuck that. They be killing guys down there all the time. What's the first? That's the first black guy got shot in North Carolina this year by the cops. What? <laughs> you just don't hear about it. these fuckers in handcuffs. They stay in handcuffs, getting shot in the back of the head. Oh, that's a suicide. Right? This, I mean, this like people. They, 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 it's just, it's just ridiculous. Right? What makes news in the United States? They, they control the news. And see, that's the thing. Everybody not understand. You got to understand the very simple thing. It's about control. They think, they think order is control. Right? No, order is regular order. The way we order ourselves, as it, that's, that comes natural to the human, actually. Right? What's unnatural is the fucking state of the thing where you have everybody with guns. Nobody with guns. The guys with guns telling you what for do. That's control. They like take your gun, so you know can say nothing back. That's control. They like tell you who and who cannot get married. That's control, right? License. You need no license for getting married. Well, now they like right. Me. That's control. Now it's down to the fucking gays, right? The, the mahus, they, they like tell the mahus who can marry, who can Why you need fucking, fuck, why you need to tell them fuck off? Well, we don't need one license. I love this guy. It's as simple as that, right? My mom, right? Back in the day, when my mom and my dad, one was white, one was black. They're not supposed to get married. You got to get one license. Well, now they just use the license for raise revenue. See, that's control. That's not order. Wow, you're, everybody going to be getting married if we no more licenses. Yeah? So what? <laughs> Pretty soon you gonna get guys, right? That like in Hawaii, you gonna get guys. They get so much nationalities. Take if you ask them what's your nationality, take them like five ten minutes. We'll tell you everybody. Right? Just for make the list. Oh, I get the kind. I get the kind. I get the kind. Anyway, the uh, and then anyway. Oh, uh, plenty news for talk about. I mean, right, get all kind, all kind of stuff going on. Syria, what was that? You know what? That's the best game of good cop, bad cop I've seen in a long time. Russia, blah, 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 blah. America, blah, 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 blah. Russia, blah, 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 blah. Them two guys working together. Someday you guys are going to figure out the bankers own both sides. And they use that for manipulate prices. They use that for all kinds of stuff. But they're working together. That's not the, it's, it's not two teams, bro. I'm telling you, you're thinking it's two teams. It's not two teams. It's like Republicans and Democrats. That's not two teams. That's one team. Right? You get offense and you get defense. Same jersey. Same thing with the kind. Same thing with the Russians. That was the best game and everybody was buying that. i tell you what. And Syria was the guy in the middle. Right? Piñata. But the kind. I'm telling you, they, they, that's, they're all on the same team. You guys got to keep the main thing the main thing. Right? And the main thing is the fucking bankers. They're funding both sides. They're printing all the money. They're trying to control everything. And it's control. It's not order. You guys getting confused when they try to tell you that they want control. Right? You're thinking, oh, that's going to give us order. No, that's just going to give you control. Why is that not going to give you control? going to give them control over you. This stuff, this stuff not hard to understand. Right? It's like when they came Hawaii, right? They came for do good over here too, bro. They came here, the best intentions. That's what they said. Oh, we're coming for that. We're going to tell you about Jesus. We're going to tell you, right? Fucking missionaries came over here for do good. And they did good. <laughs> they did pretty damn well, if you ask me. They own everything now. You get fucking Hawaiian sleeping on a beach. Oh, you don't can't sleep on a beach anymore, even. I don't care your ancestors were sleeping on a beach. You don't can't sleep on a beach. You know on that beach. Right? You're homeless. Fuck you. You don't can't sleep over there. Think about how ridiculous that is. Anyway, what else get? It's so much news. Like I said, it's so, it's so much news. I can't even stop. Uh, I could go on for like fucking five hours. Oh yeah, it's, it's all all day long something new. But mostly they just try and fuck around with you when it comes to the racism. Eh? And you guys, but you guys not can see through that. And I'm telling you, you gotta have right. They win bus property. They win bus the constitution. They win bus property rights. Or try and make give you civil rights. Oh, now you gotta serve everybody. You know, I know some Hollies that there's some restaurants they probably a uh, good idea they don't go inside there. Even in Hawaii. Right? <laughs> I mean you can go inside there, but at the same time, it might get a little dangerous on certain certain times. Oh, nobody likes to talk about that. Right? Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, anywhere in the world, 
go and get places where you get stupid fucks hanging out together, being stupid. That's news. That's news to you. Yeah? I don't care. You go, you can go to India where they're supposed to be so fucking enlightened. I guarantee you. <laughs> First, they get caste system. Second off, they get child marriage or there. Third off, you, there's some places where you fucking, they're going to pick your pocket just like that. They may lighten motherfuckers, going to strip you of anything you get. Phone, pocket, rings, jewelry, anything. Right? Some places you don't go. And it's, it's, it's going to be like that for a long time. And you know what? If, you like, if they like be like that, let them be like that. Eventually, they're going to they, they're gonna lift up their consciousness. But what Bob, Bob Morley told us, it's all just a part of it, bro. Yeah, you know, you, you got to write the book. But I tell you what, the, the American people, they're waking up. They're supposed to be giving crap. They, the, the sleeping giant is awakening. They said no to say, That's anarchy in the United States. They said no to war in Syria. Oh, so we woke up. No, we never wake up. Fucking the bankers, they never wake up to the fact that it was the Russians and the, and the Americans playing on the same team. Whose team they playing on? They're playing for the bankers. Oh, let's go spend a little bit more money on, on top of war. Like, right? We no more money for education. We no more money for healthcare. We no more money for clean water. We no more money for fucking internet access. We no more money for nothing. But we can sure make war. Like we can make war. I tell you what. Pretty soon, we, pretty soon you're gonna find out people getting tired of that. I let go. I let my kids go. I'm not going, and I'm not gonna give you money. See, that's the thing. You give them money. Now, and worse than that, half of you giving them the votes, right? I don't support this kind of war, but I support the guy who like make the war. <laughs> And then you wonder why so many guys look at you. Fucking how's the you fucking Totino? What the hell is wrong with you, Tonto? Fucking wake up. No, <laughs> tell you what. And then the guys that tell you, oh no vote for them guys. That's the guy's crazy, right? <laughs> anyway. Ah oh, plenty 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 for go. We get a long way to go. We, this is us. This is where we wanna you can't even see where we wanna go from here. But you just got to keep going, right? You just got to go every time. Hohana, hohana, right? Small kind, small kind. And pretty soon you get there. But I tell you, in the meantime, you won't get this kind of stuff when when I'm pretty girl make Miss America and they make all kind of comments. But fuck, like I said, that's not everybody. That's them making it sound like it's everybody. For somebody get something for talk about instead of talk about Syria, instead of talk about NSA. Any fucking thing to keep you guys from talking about them spying on you. And asking simple questions like, oh, if, if you guys get all this spying, how come you never stopped uh, shooting in D.C.? Gee, how come if uh, you get all these laws against uh, guns in D.C. and you go on gun-free zone, how come guys been die inside of the guns inside of gun-free zone? The gun-free zone is just like the gun-free zone. Never protect them for nothing. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good observation there, right there. I tell you what. It's just like, what is that? Oh, the gold is behind the guns. We protect our gold with guns. We protect our children with good intentions. Right? Don't bring your gun to this gun-free zone. Get kids over here. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work. Uh, and see, people finally started, because it used to be crazy talk. Oh, you know, just about 10 years ago, it was crazy talk. And people had guns on an airplane. That's crazy. You don't get to have guns on top of the airplane. Hey, bro, when I was a kid, I used to see the guys put the guns in a gun rack. His lung wasn't loaded. And I wasn't scared. This guy's going hunting. Right? And, what, and what? Now, now, because I tell you what, if had a couple of hunters on top of the 9-11 planes, things might be different right now. <laughs> but no. You're in your fucking gun-free zones. Hey, I tell you what, Chicago. How's Chicago going? We're going to fix Syria. We don't can fix Chicago. We're going to fix Syria. We don't can fix Detroit. How that? Anyway. <laughs> I tell you, keep the main thing, the main thing. The main thing is this fucking bankers. They're slaving you up, bro. And they, they, they love it. And they try, they give you all kinds of stories. And see, people started to figure out even this fucking global warming story was a fucking scam. And what was that? That was for keep people that look like me, or brownies in other countries, from, from using up the resources. Right? Tax it more, make it more difficult. They, right? It's all about right? fuel starvation. They know like these guys have energy. Energy is a, is a way where you can stay up at night and plan and scheme. <laughs> Other than that, you gotta get these dockies in bed by fucking by by sundown. Otherwise, who knows what's gonna happen? Right? They're not gonna have electricity and power. Fuck, they're gonna be educating their kids. Next thing you know, and finally, some people starting to wake up. Anyway, <sighs> okay, 
I think I'll pow. I'm just about, yeah. Get more stuff to talk about, though. I thought, what about this Fukushima? How come you guys not talking about Fukushima? Nowadays, people starting for wake up. Oh, Fukushima, that's a bad thing. You starting for hear them inside the news a little bit. Right? But fucking for years, this thing been going on. And only now, you guys going to say something. Because I tell you what, that's, a, that's fucking Wiley Coyote running the fucking, <laughs> running fucking Fukushima plant over there. Every day, I look at the news. These fuckers, they don't know what's going on. See, that's one file we know can control. The Hawaiians had a story about that. I remember I remember listening to some old guys talking story, right? The Kapunas, they used to tell us stories. And they, they told us about the nuclear energy. They went hide that. The gods went hide that from us inside of Puhaku. Right? They went hide them as best they could. But us, we're curious fuckers, so we stay, right? We, are, we always stay looking and trying to find stuff, and we found them. And now we make this fire, and we don't, can, we don't can control them. We don't know. We don't, know, we don't know what the fuck we're doing and still yet. We go play with fire and now we're burning. Right? Japan, pow, bro. You guys don't understand. Japan is pow. No more. That's That country is over. That's how, that's, that, bro, things is so fucked up over there. If you, you guys not can even, I mean, uh, anyway, I don't like even talk about that. Like, we'll talk about something else, see? And that's the thing, right? I'd rather talk about Miss America than talk about Fukushima. I'd rather talk about Miss America than talk about fucking NSA. I'd rather talk about football than talk about NSA and spying and the fact that these fuckers, what, what the hell are they doing? Right? They like control. They don't like aura. They like control. They like control because I already get order. If never have order, we would have fucking gone Washington, D.C., pull these fuckers out of office and shoot every fucking one of them. Treason. Long before this. Long before Obama. Right? But no, the American people, they is patient. I tell you, some of the patients running out, though, they're finding out about hemp. Right? They're finding out about fucking cannabis. Turns out that shit cures cancer. Oh, I don't like you know that. Right? That kind of power. They don't like you know. They, they, I tell you, they what they like you... Uh, go do is fucking shoot up that that chemo and, and the radiation. They don't like you fucking using something you can fucking grow in your backyard. 34 studies I can show you right off the bat. 800 more studies after that I can show you right off the bat. That peer-reviewed studies that cannabis, right? And we know, we know the names of the drugs. They fucking get patents on this stuff. And you know, people still dropping like fires. There's a second uh, way for die in the United States is the kind, is cancer. Right after that, first, first is heart disease, and that's another one you can prevent that. But you guys fucking eating your spam musubis, fucking slurping up your shave ice, <laughs> right? Oh, what gonna happen? Oh, I can eat like this all I like. No, oh, I get gout. I can eat all this all I like. Oh, fucking my beer belly. Oh, I can put my beer on top of. Why are you gonna get? Why you? Why are you guys sick? Why are you guys get diabetes? Anyway. <laughs> All this kind of stuff is preventable. All you gotta do is lift up your mind a little bit. But the but the fucking the, the cancer, and people are like, oh, I wish never have cancer. There's a reason for the cancer. That's a fucking wake up call. Right? Everything. It's all just a part of it, bro. Right? But that's the wake up call. Hey, maybe you better change your eating habits. Maybe you better figure out where the fuck your food coming from. Maybe you better fucking get a grip, bro. Right? Maybe you better hold up the farmers a little bit more. Because them farmers, that's the ones feeding you. And now, you just give, if you give that control to whoever you like, to, they're going to take control. Right? They don't, they, the fucking government, they don't care about you. FDA, they don't care about you. Monsanto, they don't care about you. They only like your car. They only like the money. Right? So if you don't give them the money, everything change. You can change them fast or you can change them slow. Right? You're going to be fucking sucking the sugar and fucking food coloring and fucking meat from factories and... Oh, my God. Right? The, the Hawaiians, that's what some of the most tall, proud, strong, beautiful people fucking Captain Cook had ever seen on all his voyages. He wrote that fucking down inside his diaries. Oh, these people. And now what? Most diseased fucking culture of all because they took everything from you. They took your food from you and they gave you replace it with food that you know can. That bugger, you can even can't even digest that stuff. And still you eat them. Oh, and now you think it's ono. Oh, that bacon so ono. Oh, that spam musubi so ono. And it is ono. 
Okay, I'll break my fucking. I don't eat that stuff once in a while. Oh, them hot dogs. Oh, fucking them red hot dogs. And party sausage. Oh, I like dead nitrates. <laughs> but fuck, when you get the cancer, then maybe you gotta wake up. But see, get treatment now. And now when people find out about that, like I said, it's patient, patient motherfuckers, but some of the patients are running out because they find out, oh, grandpa never have to die. And certainly he never have to die like that. Right? Himaki, Himaki in the most ugly, horrifying way possible. You know, can't even hardly fucking recognize them. And you find out, oh, some plants you could have grown in a backyard, you could have you fucking could have cured that guy. But no, they're not going to let you have that. Right? They're telling you about that plant. That plant, every fucking thing they told you about that. This is an argument with a friend of mine. Right? I was telling them, oh, smoking that stuff actually makes your lungs uh, capacity greater. No, you cannot, not going to smoke nothing, right? But I tell you, every fucking thing they told you about that was a lie. Every fucking thing. Turns out, doesn't cause lung cancer. Turns out, doesn't cause depression. Does it? Turns out, but on and on, every fucking thing they told you about that builds your brain. Actually, makes them bigger, makes the neural connections more more strong. Now, and and then they're gonna tell you, oh, right, and and then come to find out, you know what? You you like some benefits from that plan? No smoker. No, even make oil. No, even heat them up. I can juice that shit raw. Drink them. In Hawaii, you know, can't even grow enough plants for juice. <laughs> but turns out, if you juice them, you, you don't get the kind of, the, what they call it? The, it's the, the holy word, the psychotropic effect. You don't can get high. Right? Pakalolo is, is, is lolo for the lolo heads that, that, that don't understand. that They like you high. They like you like that. Because you know, anybody knows that smoking pot, you, that's not the guys that take the most action most times. <laughs> right? You just like cruise and lay back and the government can do what the fuck it likes. So of course they like you high. They tell you they don't like you high, but they rather have you high than using that shit as medicine. And they sure, they sure as fuck don't want you using it as fuel or as, as uh, behind medicine or fucking building materials or for your clothes or for fucking plastics or for fucking any fucking thing. They don't like you using them for that. They only like them, again, it's control. Yeah, tell you what, smoke them. And then if you smoke them, we're going to put you in prison. And then you can build stuff for us for free. <laughs> Fuck, these guys, we're building system so fucking excellent. You know, can even, it's so great. It's a perfect system for them. Not so good for us. How many brothers you know inside? Never hurt nobody in their life. Never would hurt nobody in their life. And they stay inside prison. When they come out, now they like hurt guys. Now they're angry. But when they went in, the only thing they did was, was, was for smoking pot. Anyway. Miss America, Miss America, Miss America. <laughs> what was that guy? Edward Snowden? What was his name? Ed. Eddie. Eddie, you fucker. You ain't tell on us. You better leave the country. That's how free us. You better get out of here, you fucker. We're going to throw you in prison. Fucking treasonous bastard. You was telling on us. <laughs> sedition. No, no. Anyway, I don't even know the word. What is that? Not, not sedition. What's the, what's the word? Where, where, where they spying? Anyway. That, that that this president the 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 peace prize winner he 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 fucking put everybody in the fucking what is that other guy's name? Who him uh it's a gay boy, what's his name? A Mahu boy, small boy. Oh uh Oh Frank, I can't see his face. Manning, Bradley Manning. He like changed his name because he like be one girl. And what? You go, you think they're gonna throw him in solitary confinement and fucking torture that guy and he not gonna snap a little bit? Anyway. The the idea is pretty simple. Uh, you, you guys got to wake up way more than just saying no one time to the war in Syria. And you guys got to wake up to the fact that fucking couple guys tweeting and putting some shit on social media is not news. <laughs> it's as far away from news as can get. Because, <laughs> bruh, yeah, always going to get racist. Always going to get ignorant people. Always going to get that. But always going to get smart people, too. Always going to get beautiful people, too. Always going to get people that fucking see further than everybody else and bring everybody else along. And right now, we're still looking back over there going, oh, man, this fuck is some ignorant fucks. But I tell you what, we get we get a long way for go, but we, we we already came pretty good size, right? But we get so much more for go. But fuck, you know, can focus on that. We can get 300 million of us. Right? There's a, I mean, why are you wasting your time? Why are you going to waste your time watching this video fucking 20 minutes long more than that? Almost half an hour. Anyway, power ready. 
I'm gonna go talk to you guys later. E pluribus unum, motherfuckers. E pluribus unum. <laughs>